I'm standing up to cancer for my auntie Tracy, my nan Ann Rita, my grandma Una and my granddad Barry and everyone else in my family affected by cancer. We've got a lot of cases on both my mum and my dad's side. The first one that I probably can remember is my auntie, who was my mum's sister. She'd got leukaemia. And then uh, my mum ended up doing a bone marrow transplant for my auntie, which was a huge thing at the time. And um, it ended up giving her a few more years of her life. Um, and then sadly, in the end, her body just shut down, rejected everything that my mum had given her and sadly passed away. Um, so that was the first time that I remember it coming into the family. I had um, an angel tattooed down my ribs with her initials on and um, we miss her dearly and it was really sad to see my mum go through losing her sister after everything she'd done to try and help save her life. So yeah, it was uh, a way of showing that she's still here with us, to, for me personally anyway. The second one was my nan, who is my dad's mum. And I'm very close with my nan, always grew up baking with her. We were like best friends, we still are now. Uh, we, we speak quite often and I just remember one day going to her house and she had no hair and I was absolutely petrified because I was, didn't have no clue what was going on. And I was so scared to go and visit her that she would always need to know when I was going so she could put a bandana or a wig on because it would frighten me that I couldn't understand why she had no hair. And it wasn't until years later I found out she'd got breast cancer. Thankfully she's in full remission, like she's completely cleared from it. It's been quite a few years now since. Um, so that's all clear. Um, again, I think the stories could go on. My great grandma died of throat cancer. Uh, my granddad had um, skin cancer. My other auntie had breast cancer. So it's, uh, yeah, riddled through our family, unfortunately. Cancer is one of the biggest ones. We hear about it a lot and it's the kind of the scary C word, really. And I think the research that's done to try and prevent this illness is amazing. So we need to keep supporting it and donating. I'm standing up to cancer for my sister Kelly, my granddad John and my nan Sylvia. My first real memory of it was my sister growing up. Um, she was 24. I was a lot younger, but um, she actually had a rare cancer. Um, I think once you hear the words, or me personally, I kind of shut down to that sort of stuff. Um, but thankfully she had surgery and radiotherapy and yeah, she's here with us still. So. Yes, yeah, a good story. Um, my granddad actually lived with it for 15 years. And then most recently, my nan um, uh, has been diagnosed with skin cancer. Um, again, she's had surgery, a successful one. Um, so hopefully, yeah, oh, she'll get the all clear soon. It touches dearly to my heart and it's a cause where I hope we can continue to keep fundraising, putting the money, putting the research in so that we're able to someday find a cure um, not just for any particular, there's an abundance of cancers out there that we're still trying to fight for, so hopefully that day comes and we can save more lives.